As we discuss backside involvement, the benefits of it when we pitch are going to lead to power, angle, extension, and eventually, hopefully, some deception. So as we try to get that on the rubber and on the mound in competition, the long toss routine is a way to be able to introduce it and to repeat it. So eventually it will carry over into what we're doing into flat ground and then into our bullpen routine and ultimately the game. So the head and the upper body are gonna be the key. We wanna be able to control it. The head can either be part of the backside or it can be part of the front side and we would like it to be part of the backside. As we get further, what we want to discuss is we want to discuss front side in the long toss routine. The ultimate goal is to have as much front side closure as we can have. Eventually, it will be the hardest thing to trust from a pitcher standpoint in order to execute pitches, but it leads to quality strikes, command control, eventually breaking balls, thus more extension as we move forward. As we go forward in the long toss routine, we want to introduce it and we want to have one, but we do not want to facilitate it or use it in the throw. We want to be able to, as we get into 60 feet, we're going to have it. It's going to be a sight. We should be able to see it. We would like to keep it inside our body and not have it be fast and go with our stride in order to throw over it and against it. So in recap, backside introduction, head over the hip, leads to good front side closure and just make sure that we work toward having a front side. That would be the first ultimate goal for young arms and then eventually understanding what it does as far as working over it and feeling it at the end of the long toss routine.